Hi, this is Shane Dumlin, and I'm going to show you guys how to set up a tree farm. Tree farm provides you with a renewable source of energy and zero maintenance once you set it up. So to get started with a tree farm, you need a redstone furnace, an aqueous accumulator, a steam dynamo, an energy cell, planter, harvester, as well as biome ducts, fluid ducts, and energy conduits. Plant your planter in the middle of the field you want to plant the trees in, one level below, and put the upgrade in there. An emerald upgrade adds 11 range, so that's 11 from this one block out here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and it's in a square. And then you need to have your harvester line, lined up with your planter. Make sure you put upgrades in it. I have three harvesters here because it chops down trees faster when you have more harvesters. Also, you need to power your harvester and your planter. Which I'm doing with these energy conduits. And you can see over here, powered the energy conduit. Once they're powered and you have saplings in your planter, it will start planting them and harvesting them. Now, out the back are these energy, are these not energy conduits, item ducts. Make sure you have them on receive mode, which is this red mode. Change them with a wrench and it pushes the items down. You want your saplings to go into one barrel your apples to go into another, and your wood to go into another. I have this going into a uh, item chest just in case it harvests anything other than these three items, which it's not doing. But you suck that out and put it into a barrel for wood. And then once you put the get the wood, you put the wood into the redstone furnaces. I have them going into the bottom and out the top. You suck the coal out the top, and then you put the coal into another barrel over here. This barrel stores the coal and pulls out coal when needed for the steam dynamos. You have two aqueous accumulators to give your dynamos water. So they need two things, coal and water, and this provides you with redstone energy. I have 40 here, and the 40 is more than enough to power both the harvesters, the planter, and the redstone furnaces, and part of the laser drill. <laughs> The redstone furnaces only take 320 RF out of the 3,200 that it's producing. And the planters doesn't take hardly any RF at all, but the harvester takes a seemingly random amount. So I have this powering a laser pre-drill, which takes 25 R, 2,500 RF a tick. And there's a cow. So setting up a tree farm is pretty simple. You need the harvester and the planter. You need to basically cook your wood. And then with the wood, you, with the coal that you get, you put it into the steam dynamos, and then that's how you get your power. So it might look complicated to set up, and it, but it's really not that complicated. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I tried to keep it short. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know if you don't know how to use item ducks. There's plenty of tutorials on YouTube, or if I get enough requests, I can make one for you. Also, this is on Argarian Skies, so it doesn't have access to item nodes. However, item nodes from extra utilities would make this a lot easier to set up. You can also use Applied Energistics to set this up too, just for the item transfer. Also, another thing is these harvesters produce a byproduct called sludge and with sludge you can make some of these base materials like dirt, sand, netherrack, clay, salt, peat, peat sand and you need about four of them to cook all the sludge from this big of a tree farm. You can make the tree farms bigger or smaller they don't have to be this max size You don't really need 2,500 power until you start using laser drills, which are kind of like an in-game item. Because 2,500 power is a ton of... You won't ever use that much power until you just start building tons and tons of machines. Because redstone furnaces only take 20 power. I think induction furnaces only take like 40 power. So unless you have like 20 of them, then you should be fine.
And thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, make sure you comment. If you like the video, like it. If you think it should be shared, share it. If you dislike the video, please let me know why. I'm, I'm kind of new to this stuff, and I'm trying to improve. Anyways, thanks for watching.